Hello everyone, this is Hank. Um, today I'm back and we are going to talk about the two very popular Canon filters that a lot of people ask about. Namely, they are the Auto Lighting Optimizer filter and the Highlight Tone Priority filter. Okay, um, I already had a video that talked about those. Uh, however, it's it was part of the menu items. Today I'm gonna just talk about these two filters and, and they are applicable to all of the Canon DSLR as well as the mirrorless cameras. Okay, so uh, first of all uh, I'm using the, the Canon EOS RP to show you. So if you go to the red tab number three, shoot three menu, and then you can find the auto lighting optimizer and the highlight tone priority. Okay, the auto lighting optimizer by default is on and it is set to standard mode. Okay, you have the option of disabling it or turn it to low or leave it on standard or to high. And this doesn't work in manual and boat mode unless you turn it on by pressing the info button okay otherwise it is standard now the auto lighting optimizer and the highlight tone priority filters are available only in a certain modes what what they call creative modes which is the m mode av mode tv mode program mode and fv modes for mirrorless Okay, so um, if you have it on full automatic or, or SCN mode, they are not available, just to let you know that. Okay, so auto lighting optimizer and highlight tone priority are mutually exclusive, meaning that you can only turn either one of them on at a time, but not both at the same time. So keep that in mind. Now I'm going to tell you what auto lighting optimizer is okay auto lighting optimizer is basically when you take a picture that has so much of the brights okay for example like the sky for example and then you have so much of the dark let's say in the shadow and the dynamic range is just too wide and your pictures are not resolving all of the the, the brights in the dark together. Now this auto lighting optimizer is going to increase the the shadow a little bit and decrease the highlights a little bit and so increase the dynamic range for your picture. Okay um, and that's default but it is only applicable if you are using JPEG out of the camera. If you use RAW Auto Lighting Optimizer does not apply at all. Okay. <clears throat> now the Highlight Tone Priority is a very similar filter. Okay. Uh, except that as the name suggests, it favors the highlight. So usually if the highlight is too high, it will decrease the highlight. Okay. Uh, but it essentially, these two essentially work the same. As a matter of fact, that they are mutually exclusive. You can only turn one of them on at a time and not both at the same time. Okay, uh, give you an example. Right now, standard is auto lighting optimizer on to standard, right? So now, if I want to turn high, highlight tone priority on, okay, um, and you have the option of either do enable or enhance. Enhance is stronger effect than enable. So you have a choice to increase it. So when I choose that, if you look um, up there, automatically auto lighting optimizer is automatically turned off. You can't, you can't set both. So you, you have to disable this one before the other one turn on. Of course you have the option of turning both of them off. Right, you can do that, and um, and actually, I'm jumping ahead, but 
I'm recommending that you keep both of them off, and I will explain why. Um, if you could hang on, let me switch over to a presentation and show you some example. Okay, so what you're looking at here is that I use the auto lighting optimizer, but just to show you the, the, the most obvious effect, I've changed it to high setting instead of standard. Because you, you see in this picture here, the uh, highlights uh, for the uncorrected, this is with both uh, turned off. Okay. And, and you see the highlights here, not that much detail compared to the auto lighting optimizer turned on high. You can see that it recovered the, the highlights fairly well. Okay, even though it, it didn't do anything to the shadow part of it. Okay, so that is the effect of the auto lighting optimizer. Remember, it's only work with JPEG. Okay, so with RAW, you can't really use it. Now, so the next, on the next one, okay, so instead of the optimizer filter, I'm using highlight tone priority filter, right? And um, this one, I set it to the, the, the uh, D plus. And, uh, now the difference between this one and the other one is that this one works for RAW as well. So if you are using RAW and you want to use this kind of filter, then you need to use high t highlight tone priority and not the other one, right? Okay, one other cost that this thing will have is that you cannot set your ISO to 100 any longer. So the minimum is 200. All right. And uh, as you can see here, again, this highlight tone priority, it favors a highlight. So it actually decreases the highlight a little bit. Because you can see, I don't know if you remember, but for the auto lighting optimizer, it's actually a little bit more effective at the high setting than the highlight tone priority. Now, if you crank up to the D2+, plus, okay, this thing gets slightly better, but it's still not as good as the, the, um, the uh, auto lighting optimizer. However, it does work with RAW, right? It works both with JPEG and RAW. Okay. Now, as you can see that this one, it is slightly better because the shadow looks a little bit better. It's not as dark. And the the highlights are still resolved. So, in my opinion, the the D two plus is the best out of the three that we just talked about. Now, if you go to the next one, now I'm instead of using the filters in camera, okay, I just took a raw image. And actually, you could do it with JPEG as well. For, for this um, example, but I, I happen to use the RAW. And I just used the Adobe RAW uh, editor. I reduce the highlights and I increase the shadow. And as you can see that, okay, here's the best that in-camera filter do for you at a cost of ISO 200, okay? I just used the RAW file Reduce highlight, increase the shadow, very simple change. And I was able to get a much better image out of it. Therefore, my conclusion is, if you use nothing but JPEG and you don't use post-processing, 
then I recommend that you would turn on the auto lighting optimizer and that might help you a little bit okay now if you use raw image and you don't do any processing which is impossible uh, then you use highlight tone priority okay if you use raw and you use post processing like a lot of us do myself included then I recommend that you turn both the highlight tone priority and the auto lighting optimizer off. The reason being is that it comes with cost. Okay, number one, it will increase the noise just a little bit, uh, but more importantly, it slows your camera down. So for example, if you're shooting burst, then you won't get the maximum uh, burst rate that the camera is capable of you actually will lose a frame or two out of that. So, so it comes with a cost. So my recommendation, if you use RAW and you use post-processing, turn both of them off, okay? With that, i like to thank you very much for your attention, and I would appreciate a like and or a subscription from you. Thank you very much. Have a good one.